All right, you guys, 20.3 is out, and it is a redo of 18.4. It's 21, 15, 9 deadlifts and handstand push-ups. If you finish that, you move on to 21, and then handstand walks, 15 deadlifts, handstand walks, etc. So just go ahead and watch some videos of 18.4 of people completing it. That will give you good inspiration. It is very doable inside of the time cap. It's very difficult to do inside the time cap. So you're looking at a nine minute workout. So what's my best piece of advice? Well, it's still nine minutes. It's not Fran, which is two and a half minutes long or however long your Fran is. It's still nine minutes. So you should break things up from the very beginning. That's my first piece of advice. Break up your set of 21. That'll pay dividends when you get to your second set of 21 and your hamstrings are feeling a little bit fresh. That being said, I don't think this is a workout which you should do fast singles. We have a few people at our gym who just do a fast single drop and then go right into it. It still would behoove you to do maybe sets of seven or maybe 11, 10 on the first set just to get out of that deadlift phase. You do have to be quick to try to get a good score on this workout. So for warming up, what would I do? Well, obviously there's a ton of deadlifts here, so warm up your back a lot. As well, every time you do a handstand push-up, you need a tight core and your back actually gets stressed a lot on your handstand push-ups. And then obviously, or maybe not obviously, depending on who has handstand walked or not, you use your back. It is a little bit hyperextended when you're walking, so there's a lot of tension on your lower back as well. So back, 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 warm up your back. Definitely um, for warming up your core or your engine, I would say, as I always do, get some rowing in. Rowing is gonna warm up your back, definitely more so than stationary biking or something would. So after you finish that, what else would I do? Well, I grab my barbell, warm up deadlifts. I definitely do some good mornings with the barbell. Go ahead, lay down straight, do some scorpions, just generally warming up your lower back, maybe even hop onto your back and do some dead bugs as well to get your core nice and tight, which will help you both in your handstand push-ups and your deadlifts. So warm up your lower back a lot. Um, other than warming up your lower back and other than taking it out and treating it as a nine minute workout and not a two or three minute workout, that's really all I have to say about those, this one. It is a repeat, we have a lot of information on it. I think the 50th percentile just started their second set of 21 i think that's where they were at last year so if you have a goal and if you want a goal of let's say i want to compete with the 80th percentile just go ahead and google 18.4 beyond the whiteboard and you'll find the stats for 18.4 lots of good information there and that will let you know whatever percentile you want to target where you need to be at to be competitive that being said it will be a little bit better than it was in 18.4 people had not done handstand walks in the open before as well people hadn't had strict handstand push-ups from the year before program so as a whole crossfit has gotten better at being inverted the past two years so i would say all those scores are going to be better than they were a year and a half ago two opens ago anyways kick butt take things out pace warm up your lower back you're going to do great i'll see you guys next week